Let's begin. Average size home. Pretty well hidden behind trees, so we don't have to worry about being out in the open. Car pulls up, we move in. Oliver, this place was your idea. Got any ideas for an entrance point? A few places. Front door is most ideal for a building like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Front door? Are you kidding me? You trying to get us caught? Yeah, maybe we would if you made the plan. Boys, please. Now isn't the time. Front door? Oliver picks the lock. Boom, we're in. Katie sneaks out back. We have an emergency exit. And then, easy money. Things go bad, Cade pulls the trigger. No, if things go bad, we assess the situation. You got it? But, if the situation goes bad, Cade pulls the trigger. I don't think Cade should have a gun. We shoot only if absolutely necessary. You got it? Any questions? You all know why we're here. It's time to make it count. We're in. What the fuck are you wearing? They didn't have anything at the store. Okay, all right. On the ground, don't fucking move, this is a robbery! You deaf, old man? You think we're playing? No, I'm not deaf. My hearing is certainly not what it used to be. But rest assured, I heard every word you just said. You think this is funny? Do I think what's funny? That, that I'm preparing my dinner and you're pointing a gun at me? Or the fact that I have yet to do anything you said? Final warning. What, what are you, what are you doing? And what, what are you wearing? They didn't have any masks at the store. And this old man thinks I'm some joke. You're putting words in my mouth. I'm just trying to finish preparing my poitrine de poulet avec des nigrats au miel, and you're pointing a gun at me. This is a goddamn robbery. Tell us where your valuables are, or shit's gonna go down real quick. My safe is in the next room, but unfortunately I'm too old to carry something that heavy. Why don't you two go and grab it? Really? Just, just like that? Let's just get this thing and dip. What makes you think I want to stay? I don't know. You always like those fancy French foods. You know what the best parts were? Can you try to pronounce the names of them? Fuck off. This is, this is not what I expected the safe to look like. You really gonna carry that? We just didn't want to get up. We can't leave yet. Why is that exactly? Goddamn lifeline. In my opinion, it's a pretty easy choice. You can stay here and enjoy a well-prepared meal by yours truly, or... We'll serve you something. Can you calm down? Why are you siding with him? I'm siding with Logic. And Logic says we just join him for a nice meal instead of ending up with a body bag. Well, I guess the masks are coming off. Plastic? What are you on, welfare? I'm our herophilic. It means I'm afraid of metallic objects, especially utensils. That's why the safe is wooden. Wait, he might have poisoned the food. Dude. What? I was hungry. Oh my gosh. Anyway, what do you want from us? Why are we here? Old man, answer me now. Mr. Anderson, 
My name is Mr. Anderson. Okay, Mr. Anderson. What do you want from us? Are you fucking serious? Again? Hey, relax. No! Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Sitting all smirk and shit. For all we know, he might have been called the cops by now. Would you please pass the salt? You know what? I'm sick of this shit. Chill the fuck out. Please. What brought you here today? What? What made all of you decide to rob my house? Armed with loaded weapons, and with intentions that I've come to realize are pretty lethal, especially from this one. Look, we need the money. Isn't that the initial reason for any robbery? Well, I guess your question wasn't a very good one on that, was it? No, perhaps not. All I know is that whatever you're trying to accomplish now comes from a place of desperation. And that's a path that you can't easily run away from. Well, sometimes you don't have a choice. There's always a choice. For example, you can still choose to pass me the soul. Should, should be kicking in right about now. What the fuck are you talking about now? <laughs> there it is. Sorry, my watch is as old as I am. Should have listened to your friend. Of course, it was poisoned. Rookie move, my friend. Rookie move. Did you know that poison's been around for centuries? And who the fuck are you supposed to be? Cleopatra tested many strands before poisoning herself in 30 BC. Thanks, but no one gives a fuck. Some poisons make metal change color, but it doesn't affect plastic. Dude, it was poison. Fuck me! How did you know about him? What is there to know? He's an old man living alone. It seems pretty perfect for a robbery. He poisoned plastic spoons! What do you think of some old guy? Just living alone, having some dinner? How? Did you know about him? Tell us and you can be on your merry way. We needed the money. Mother is sick. So we found somewhere simple to break into. Tell it. Yes, go ahead, tell me. You haven't said a damn thing since you got here. It wasn't. Random. I knew him. How? Because that is the man who adopted us. That man is our father. Tell him you're lying. All right. Tell him! Would you? You want the truth? That's the truth. He left us when we were young. He was barely five years old. I did some digging. I found his past records. His alias, Mr. Anderson, is actually Mr. Walker. So while you were enjoying an early retirement, your fucking wife! has been enjoying the fucking hospital! You got kids? You know that's against the rules. I know the rules, but at the time, I just didn't know why. And when I found out, it was already too late. Yeah, no shit. Make one mistake, karma does the rest. But there are other rules too. 
No witnesses. Ah! Daniel! Oh! Oh, did you really think you're all just gonna walk out of here? I'm gonna kill you for this. You better pull in my fucking head. Okay. Hope you aren't gonna miss your sons too much. The fuck do you think you're doing? Drop it! Drop it I now! I guess I will miss them. Now sit. Don't worry. Help is on the way. Fucking lifeline bracelet. You know that means cops. It's the same car? You're sure? Yeah, I've seen it surfing around a couple of times now. Seems like a scout. Someone must be planning something. Well, be ready for them. Whoever it is, this may have to get messy. Don't worry, John. You know there's nothing in this world that could bring me to give us up. Put pressure on the wood. Use your sweat. Use your sweat. Everything we built. Everything we built. Fall. <laughs> Oliver, we were having dinner as a family. Someone broke in. I shot and killed him in self-defense. That's what happened. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for everything. I know. <laughs> <laughs>